The Woodlands Health and Rehab Center offers a safe transition program to get you well and back to the community. Our outdoor therapy area features different terrains and offers a unique therapeutic experience. Come see the difference. The Woodlands Health and Rehab Center, living made better. Hello again. It's Monday, March 12th, 2018. And from snowy Allegheny County, this is Journal TV, and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. The second annual Paint Tie Gala held Saturday evening at the Masonic Theater was a resounding success. The classy event raised a big chunk of money for the Susan B. Komen Breast Cancer's charity. Here is local breast cancer survivor, Amanda Griffith. Check. But it was in that moment that I knew what I wanted to look at tonight. The family members, the friends, the caregivers, the ones who step up and take on the mom duties when mom just can't mom. And they do it selflessly and without accolade or asking for anything in return. They just do it because they love us. The friend who came to every doctor's appointment and every chemo treatment, and the ones who have to sit by those bedsides and watch their mom or their best friend or their daughter take those last breaths. The ones who have to go on. These are your stories. Allegheny Highlands Community Services has two neat events in store for the community this week. A free movie is scheduled Friday at the Masonic Theater and a special paint night is set this Saturday at its Life Skills Center. Sheena Jackson explains more here. We chose David Hazlett and the reason that we chose him is because his daughter, Elena, uh, used to receive services from Allegheny Highlands Community Services. She had a disability or a diagnosis of leukodystrophy and he needed help from Allegheny Highlands Community Services so um, speech therapy and physical therapy came in to help his daughter and he called Elena Ladybug so the paint night is going to be Ladybugs. And we'll be right back. In a detailed letter to the editor last week, DSLCC President John Renone spelled out the fact that by the end of the decade, almost 70% of all job openings will require an education or skills training beyond that of high school. According to Renone, college is not out of the reach for anyone. Last week, the Allegheny County Board of Supervisors approved a contract for a building in Intervale that will house an outfitter operation for its Jackson River Scenic Trailhead. Now available on the county's website is a request for proposal for a concessionaire for that building with answers due on March 29th. And now a word from our sponsor. Now it's time for Editor's Quickies. The Covington School Board meets tonight to talk about its budget. The Popovich Pet Variety Show will be held Wednesday at the Masonic Theater at 7 p.m. The Clifton Forge Library is holding a Dr. Seuss party on Thursday beginning at 4 p.m. The Clifton Forge Town Council, the Covington City Council, and the Bath County Board of Supervisors all meet on Tuesday. Also on Tuesday, DSLCC is getting a bulldozer from the Virginia Department of Transportation. Let's take a look at some upcoming events.
and now for local obituaries. Gordon Joins, 84 of Lexington, died last Thursday. Memorial service will be held in Roanoke on Monday night at the Community Advent Christian Church. John Clark, 80 of Lexington, died last Thursday. A graveside service was conducted Saturday at the Collierstown Presbyterian Cemetery. Ruth Altizer, 81 of Covington, died on Friday. Her funeral will be held on Wednesday at the McAllister Memorial Presbyterian Church. Stacy Camden, 49 of Lexington, died last Friday. His funeral will be held Wednesday at the Harrison Funeral Chapel. Sherman Rice, 71 of Clifton Forge, died on Monday. His funeral will be held Thursday at the Nicely Funeral Home. Leanne Plogger, 60 of Hot Springs, died on Thursday. Memorial service is set Tuesday at the McLaughlin and Young Funeral Home. Let's check out the local weather forecast. On Tuesday, it should be partly cloudy with a slight chance of rain and snow, high of 38 and a low of 25. On Wednesday, partly cloudy with a chance of snow showers, high of 36 and a low of 26. And on Thursday, it should be partly cloudy with a chance of snow showers, high of 50 and a low of 35 degrees. And even though it doesn't look like it today, there's good news. There's only eight more days until springtime in Virginia. And that's the way it is on Monday, March 12, 2018. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24-7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV.